Hello and welcome back to Yo-Yo RZ Gaming, or in this case, Yo-Yo RZ Logistics. So we started up a new, brand new profile on my casual play. So you know, even though like farming sim might come out later and American Wilds, I'll still I play them for a while and come back to this. Cause I always come back to this game. I love this game. Best simulator ever, I think. And I probably followed up with the farming simulator, especially 17. Kind of hoping that 19 is going to be up there as well. Modless as well, not using any mods, no Jazzy Cats, no Pro Mods. Progresses, we've only done the one loading, we could have did a short episode last time, just delivering to, well, just round the corner, weren't it, for some grass bales, I believe. But look at this, you don't, do you really need Pro Mods? We're here in Warsaw. Look at this map. Absolutely tons of it. It's absolutely massive. Taking no time to get round on this, and I've explored nothing. Look, <laughs> apart from going round the corner. Okay, so let's get a quick job. Oh, one more thing is uh, go back into the world map, go to Warsaw, Oops. and we need to pick up these two here. So there's one to be an agency, and one will be a truck dealer. I don't know which way around it will be, but. Let's get it. So let's get a quick job from Warsaw. So you click on the Warsaw and you get all the Warsaw jobs. Uh, doesn't really matter which one I suppose we take. So we go in the Alveco. Let's just get as much money as we can. No, 3,000 just under 4 grand. Because we're going to need some cash. But while we uh, get down there, we're going to pick up them two discoverables in. Warsaw first. Warzava. I think that's how you might say it. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. It's like we go past one of them anyway. Alright. Let's uh, take a cruise. To Poznan, I think we're going in it. Are we going to Poznan? Can't remember. <laughs> now, I am thinking if I can go and get that other one, nothing coming. This is whiz out. I'll go up there and turn around. That's what I'm thinking, and then come back and get that other one. Yeah, I might go straight up because that looks like a truck dealer. But I don't know which truck dealer it is. I'll just wait for them lights to go green before we uh, proceed. Because if we get that, then come, it looks like a Mercedes one, I do believe, from a distance. It is Mercedes. So we've got the Mercedes truck dealer. and then we can just come in here and turn around. I don't want to be taking too many wrong turns. If you've been watching my American Simulator one that I just started up, I took a wrong turn and ended up with a speeding ticket and two visits to the uh, waiting station. I've opened up another truck dealer now, Volvo, I believe I chose. So we'll have Volvo and Mercedes. I'm going to try and do an achievement. I've never done the achievement in all the years that I've had uh, ETS2. I've had it for about four years now. And that's just drive every truck for 999 kilometres. So each brand of truck. So what I'll do, I'll just get a truck, I'll drive it get that mileage out of one of the trucks and then pass it on to an agency worker and I'll get another one and do another 999 kilometers and then pass that one on. That is the plan anyway. That discovered a recruitment agency, that's good. Hopefully them don't go, yeah we're safe. set of traffic lights. And we 
can keep on going. Up to Poznan, how long is it going to take us? Three and a half hours. That's a bit of a trek there, isn't it? Oh, it's speeding. I say it's always hard at the beginning of these games to not speed because you don't have a lot of money. So you don't want to damage your truck unnecessarily, get speeding tickets or have accidents. Jump in red lights, don't want to do any of that. No doubt I will though, I always end up with a speeding ticket or red light fine somewhere along the line. Or tiredness as well. Get too tired, get a fine for that. Uh, we're going to go right up here. Like I say, some of the longer ones on uh, longer journeys across motorways, I might just uh, do a bit of editing and cut the motorway a bit out. But we'll see, see how it all goes, see how it pans out. to 70 in a second so there we go 70 miles an hour well we can go up to 80 now get it up to 80 and put the old cruise control on Let's see what events we can find along the way looking a bit dark for 10 o'clock in the morning isn't it 80 miles an hour, so let's put the old cruise control on. I'm going to turn off at the next junction anyway. Just slow it down a little bit here, go caning it down here. zoom on the old cruise control get it back up to 80 and let's merry on down the road to Poz Poznan I do believe we're going in, well let's have a look yeah, now we're going to Katowice alright let's knock it down a little bit let's uh, put a bit of an indicator on because uh, I'm going to have to take a little bit of two roads here I believe do their road works. Speeding away, look. So easily done, isn't it? Oh, let's put the old cruise control back on. There's a uh, 80 miles an hour now. Beautiful. Sweet as a peanut, as they say. A tractor up there. That was like a Dukes Far or something. Any of those that know about tractors and I don't know nothing about tractors, I just know from uh, farming sim. So that's a... Uh, yeah, casual gaming. You know, there's all sorts of things I want to be doing. I want to do American Wilds, which is the Mud Runner one. It should be out on 23rd of October, I do believe. We've got Farm Simulator coming out on the 20th of October. No, November, sorry, 20th of November. We're looking forward to that one. I love 17. Uh, what else is there? I've seen things for Alaskan Truck Simulator as well. That looks good. And whatever else uh, it comes out in the future. I've got Bus Simulator 18. Uh, I've played it a few times. I'm not really a big fan on it. Oh, you know, I do really want to have another bus game. Never been a bus game since OMSI 2. That was the best bus game going I think at the time I do still have it, I have thought about you know reinstalling it again but it is a bit dated now you would say that about this game really being a bit dated and the same with Train Sim as well, Train Sim 18 I still use that one could do a bit of trains as well, I've also got uh, TSW, Train Sim World now maybe I could do a bit of that that doesn't look too bad 
So there's a few things I want to do for the channel. And basically it's just going to be casual driving. What's this? Speeder. Yeah, play Euro Truck for a little while. Then I might play somewhere else, but then come back to Euro Truck. And I'll just stick it all in one playlist. So I might play it every day for a month. And then I might not play it for two months. And then if I start playing it again, I'll carry on where we left off and just carry on with it. That's my plan for this channel, anyway. I don't, I don't, I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it. I'm just in it for the joy, really. I love playing these sort of games, and I thought I'd just share it, share it out with you all. But I want to be kind of current as well. I know these games are quite old, especially this one. Train Sim is quite old as well. Train Simulator, but they can be quite current. We'll get into the next lane, I think. Get this blue car. Here. See the road cuts off there, we don't want to go down there, do we? If that's how you pronounce it, I ain't got a clue. Trailer's skimming across the uh, mud there, look. Alright, let's get it back up to speed. Let's put the old resume con cruise control on. And it will automatically grow up to 80. Nice little farm over there. Got some cows just over here, look. Cows. On this side, trees. Typical motorway, in it. Motorway scenery. Trees, fields. Little cow here and there. Sheep. And we're going to be able to take this log trailer. Yeah, this is one of my favourite simulator games ever. This is. And farming simulator 17, two of the best games ever. Let's take this lock trailer. I have played these game, this game with pro mods. I started the series on beforehand before I built my PC. If you look back on my playlist, I think I had a lot of jazzy cats in there, which are good as well. They spice up the traffic a little bit, but at the end of the day, the game updates the mods go out of date. You know, the game updated to 1.32 where you can own your own trailers. Pro mods don't work anymore. By the time Pro mods works, the Baltic DLC will be out and it probably won't work again. So I'll just stick as it is. We'll get the Baltic DLC and carry on like that. I think the map is big enough as it is. Is that a speed camera just there? That is a speed camera just there. Just as well I'm not speeding. Hour and 20 minutes, and we should be at our destination. What we're carrying, we are carrying a reservoir tank 11 tons to Posbid and Catawiss. Okay, dokey then. Do we need a sat nav on? We do need that sat nav on. Look, we've got no sat nav in the cab, so oops. let's change that. There we go, that's better. That's the view we like. You don't have to buy any fuel or pay for your ferries and whatnots on this while you're hired a driver or you, while you're just being a hired driver that is. Once you get your own truck though you've got to pay for all that. That comes out of your budget. Although speeding tickets, having crashes and whatnot all does come out of your own budget so that's why I've got two, 2,362 euros in the bank. 
don't want to be having too many speeding tickets or crashes because that will soon go down. I normally only get a loan for a hundred thousand euros to start off with. You might get a truck for that if you're lucky. But it doesn't matter, we can get a low range truck, we can get one of these like an Aveco or a Man or a Renault. I, wonder, I think the Renault trucks are quite expensive. But we've got to do it anyway, there's seven brands of truck and I plan to do 900, a minimum of 999 kilometres in each one and just pass the trucks down to my agency workers as time goes on. I have tried it before, it's not ever that easy. You can't just do 999 or 1,000 kilometres and then just get rid of it. It's wonderful you haven't got the funds to trade it in and upgrade. Or you haven't got the funds to upgrade a garage and get another worker in. That's been the only problem with that, so it does take time. station that side and the gas station that side. It's quite a nice little run actually this. Let's cruise it on down the motorway, no tolls, normally got lots of tolls in Poland. Perhaps I got lucky on this road. Now the speed limit's 80. I am doing 80. How fast is Mofo here going? Huh? The speed limit is 80 matey. Must be doing 90. I bet he don't get a speeding ticket either. I bet if I crept up to 82 mile, 82 kilometres an hour, I'll be no getting a speeding ticket. That's it, you slow down right in front of me. So we're coming off soon, we're just over 20 minutes away from our destination in Katowice. Pospid with our uh, reservoir tank. now now we have no discoverables here unbelievable nothing okay that's all right we can just make the delivery and go simply do that around traffic lights coming up let's put the right indicator on this time Bed. Beautiful. Alright, let's go and dump the trailer. That should be a nice easy one. Beautiful. 
Oh, sweet as a peanut. There we go. Let's turn that off. Alright, that's that sorted out. That's that delivery done. Warsaw to Katowice. Excellent. Alright, what should we do here then? Let's do a long distance one to start off with. Uh, what have we got? Yeah, we've got brand new trucks. Yeah, and money if you need it for a bank. So, mm, I don't know about Volvo just yet, because I quite like the Volvos. I might lose that one to last. But I think I'm going to have to get some money up anyway here before I continue getting a truck. So, that was Warsaw to Katowice on a casual let's play of ETS2, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, hit like if you want to hit like, subscribe if you want to hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time for our next journey. Thank you very much for watching.